Hi guys, how are you? It's Briggs Nostalgia here, and um, uh, today I would like to review one uh, another build um, that is the one that you see here in front of you of this uh, vintage uh, Lego Idea book uh, number 8888 from uh, 1980. Uh, the build I'm talking about is this one that you see here on this uh, first page of the book and that you see here in more details on uh, these uh, pages here. Now this is the complete build, on, these are the last few steps but yeah, as you can see here the whole uh, sequence in order to build the whole thing uh, is present in the book um, the build is very accurate um, pretty much almost all the pieces that are shown in the book are present um, there's just a couple of very minor differences that I'm gonna point out now but for the rest the build is very accurate uh, the very first one is this one, uh, is these two cones here that instead of being yellow should be in old grey and then there are these uh, round bricks in these two sides that are supposed to be also in old grey but I didn't have any more pieces so I just uh, went for the blue ones, okay? Um, the build is uh, huge um, I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna do a bit of a close-up of it in a second I just wanted to put a minifig first so you can have a bit of a better um, you can have a bit of a better idea of how big the build is it's huge and it looks fantastic okay so uh, let's have uh, a bit of a close-up uh, the build is pretty heavy it's very beefy it's a great personality I really like it and uh, I really think it's fantastic got lots of very interesting details into it, it doesn't have many features many things moving parts moving not much of that type but it's got a lot of very interesting um, details anyway um, that make it the help to make it a very 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 interesting set you can see that you have all these details that I just mentioned uh, here on uh, the top of the cabin section you got these smoke stacks as well they're very nice um, they give it a very nice um, help to give it a very interesting look you have this huge grill here on the front I find it very very nice it's very very powerful I would say catches a lot of attention makes the, the build look extremely beefy and powerful then you're going to see you can see the motor here and we're gonna go back to it in a minute because one of the features of the build is in uh, this section of the build then I love these huge wheels I really like them and uh, they it's another feature that helps to make the uh, helps the look um, of, of the truck to, to look so aggressive then there is this cabin section here back cabin section that doesn't have anything in particular it's just um, for the look I will say and then here there is uh, the back of the truck that looks very nice that I like a lot in terms of proportions and um, the way it's built and I like that it had these nice features these translucent pieces that are supposed to represent headlights and uh, there are some uh, things going on here as well in terms of suspensions and differential that um, make also this back section of the build look interesting and uh, we're gonna go through that in a second so this is it um, let's uh, briefly go through the features that this uh, build has from starting from the front and then slowly moving to the back
Okay, so let's start from the front. Um, <clears throat> an interesting feature here is um, that the front here can uh, be lifted and lowered down just very easily. Uh, once you lift it up, you have uh, room now to get to the motor. And the interesting thing about the motor is that there's a couple of pistons into it, so when the truck is moving back and forward you get the pistons to simulate um, a, a real mo working motor let's say very interesting these pistons are connected to the rear wheel through an axle all the way here let me see if i can show you yeah there you go these are the pistons there's just the axle that starts here and goes all the way to the back connected to the wheel now um, yeah as you can see actually uh, good I can show you the whole thing from the bottom okay uh, but interesting feature you know gives it makes it more exciting if you drive the truck around um, not much more here in terms of um, um, functions you get just the steering wheel the next uh, feature you get is the steering wheel system here uh, it's a very classic uh, system just with the wheels and uh, yeah just a very classic basic classic technique system you just have a rack here with a gear and the whole thing moves uh, around thanks to um, sorry and you can control the whole thing uh, through these uh, wheel on top just through the connection that is made using various axles and uh, this piece that I can't remember exactly how what what its name is it's just that this piece is the one that allows you to keep the rotation of uh, of something even if you change the angle of the axles um, the only the thing that I don't like much about uh, this system is that it feels a bit weak when you move it and you can definitely feel the stress um, the stress uh, applied to this section here because this is bent uh, to a pretty high angle and I tried to um, fix it using shorter axles I tried to fix it using shorter black axles but I couldn't find a solution so it's remaining like this and it feels a bit weak but if at the same time it still works if you just make sure you don't try to turn the whole thing too much okay now we move uh, now there's nothing else here this is <clears throat> this box here doesn't have any function into it and we're just gonna move uh, to the back section of the build where there's a couple of interesting concepts here that are worth um, considering. The very first one is that there is a suspension system applied to it and the interesting thing is that it's um, it's using just elastic bands and not um, springs. Uh, it's very interesting, never seen this before so this is another interesting feature that I got to um, see through this build and it's very nice and another one is this differential that you see over here um, an interesting thing about this differential if you just give me one second I'm gonna find it on the book is that uh, um, the instructions manual gives you two different options to build uh, the rear section and you have either this one here that is doesn't involve the use of um or actually maybe this is still a differential mm, i don't know let me know guys because i'm not an engineer so um i think it's kind of working as a differential because these uh, two sections are split mm, so yeah these wheels are actually rotating independently from each other so this could be I guess still a different type of differential however what I wanted to say is that it gives you two different ways of uh, 
building this uh, section you can either do it th through the use of these two gears or uh, um, using if you move to the steps that you see here it gives you the option of using uh, other gears and uh, this is what the result will be and uh, the one that I decided to build is this one because I had the pieces and it looked more exciting so it's what you see over here and uh, you can see that it's very interesting everything works properly and allows the <coughs> sorry uh, allows the um, the wheels to turn independently from each other um, this is it in terms of functions guys mm, the build is uh, very good looking but it doesn't really have many features being just a truck so um, let's get to some final uh, considerations um, in order, as a conclusion okay so um, this build is uh, great uh, I find it a fantastic very good looking build it looks very aggressive very beefy and uh, it has a great personality so I really like it and if you have the pieces I really recommend that you put the whole thing together um, it doesn't have uh, uh, as many features as uh, some other technique builds that I did in the past um, but I think this is due to the nature of the build it's a truck so there's not really much more you can do other than put, than put a steering uh, wheel feature and uh, some uh, uh, suspensions on the back you know uh, unless you want to put some power functions and then start running it around um, uh, with a joystick which is something that I'm planning to do um, there's uh, not many features you can do another interesting thing is that the build looks very beefy and very aggressive but it's very important that you grab it from the bottom when you want to um, move it around because this uh, upper section is not very uh, solid so if you grab it from uh, these uh, points uh, um, like I did previously for example um, the whole cabin section can uh, um, can fall apart and also all these uh, stacks here are quite weak so they can fall down uh, quite easily but for the rest you know the base is very solid it's uh, the look of the build is very interesting and another interesting thing is that um, it uses a lot of pieces but it uh, there's not a huge variety of pieces and a huge variety of uh, leg technique pieces used to build these uh, uh, trucks so um, so the good thing is that it's possible that you can pull this whole thing together with um, or the most of it with uh, what you already have in your house lying around in your house so without having to spend too much money in uh, uh, in Bricklink or this. I did all of it with everything I had already home even if my YouTube collection is pretty wide it's pretty huge so that's another interesting thing I went for builds that required so many technique pieces in the past that um, I had to make Bricklink orders just to finish them off okay so thank you very much guys this is it tell me what you think uh, about it um, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more coming over the next few weeks, okay? So thank you very much and I'll see you later.